Milton, you're gonna sit? You're gonna sit today? Milton, okay. Maddie, Maddie, you're gonna sit? Madeline, sit. What is with the water? Milton, Milton, sit. 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 Milton, sit. Good boy, that's a weird direction, but good boy. Here's a good boy, Mamio. Okay, all right, come on. Morning, guys, I am up, Adam, and it is time to work out. I'm excited today because I am not lifting weights. <laughs> so, as important as lifting weights is, like I've been lifting weights for a couple weeks now, yeah, and I can already see some definition. Like, it is not my favorite thing to do by any means. So today, I am doing less mills. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Probably body combat, I miss doing less mills, and I'm excited to be doing it today. But do you know what else I'm excited about? Zip fizz, absolutely. And today we are having, bam! <laughs> Absolutely, pina colada. Oh, I have not had you in a long time. Oh, I'm feeling tropical just thinking about it. Absolutely. Yeah, I actually did roulette that. I didn't know what I was gonna have. So pina colada is a very welcome surprise. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ooh, pina -y. colada -y, right? But don't let this pina colada shame me into remembering that I have not practicard me espanol at all this year. I'm gonna pick it back up. 75 hard takes a lot of time. Like between two 45 minute workouts and having to read a book, where does the day go? You know what I'm saying? But like 75 hard has made me realize that I do have a lot more time of the day than I think I do. So I do need to dedicate some of that time to practice in my Spanish. Like, y'all know it's been a goal of mine for years. I just gotta be consistent, you guys. Consistency wins over everything, all the time. No matter what you're doing, stay consistent at it, right? I know, right? Shout out to Keto Chow for the shaker bottle. Don't forget, you can get 10% off your Keto Chow order by using the link in the description box below. I am obsessed. All right, guys. Let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. To a great day, to a great month, to getting back on plan, to reaching our goals, to settling in, to hunkering down, right? To just getting back in the groove for the long term and feeling great about it, yes. Feeling great about this pina colada. Oh yeah, that little shake I did kind of made me think I want to dance today. I don't know, I don't know. The world is my oyster, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget this water in this zip fizz does not count toward the gallon that I have to drink for 75 hard. So in addition to this, I will be drinking an entire gallon of water today. Lego. Sylvia's here, says hello, Wack fam. Mel Matthews is in the building. Good morning. morning JJ's here, says good morning, good everybody. Morning, I'm glad that you guys are here. I am feeling good great morning, today. JJ. The sun is out. Can we go for a walk later? Oh, yeah. Ooh, Ellie gets to go for a walk later. A 45 minute walk. Yeah, 45 yes. minute walk. Just yes. purely for time, yes. okay? Yes. A 45 minute mosey yes. is what we're gonna have, yes. okay? I'm so, the bike's gonna be fun. Time. No, I can't. I, I don't know how to rollerblade. It's all about your ankles. If, I got weak ankles. Yeah. You remember? Didn't we specifically uh, talk about how I have yeah, weak uh, ankles? Uh, yeah. Like I don't like uh, ice skating either. Oh, I can do both. Really yeah. Well. Oh, I can do both I mean, really I well. I can't like. I cannot. And stuff like that. I can barely roller skate. I don't have good balance. Like even with four wheels. Even with four wheels. I know how to push myself forward, but like I always so need to have like skates. have like a bar, something okay. to grab onto. Like. I'm not really good at stopping myself. I, I never really learned how to stop myself oh. on roller skates. I always just ran into something and that was me stopping. Can, then I would walk my can, way. I don't, know, like, <laughs> I don't know how to do the ski. Yeah, I don't know how to do the ski. I do not know how to sashay. Oh. Okay guys, per usual, I am starting off the day with my cheese snacks. Like I just, I love starting off the day with crunchy snacks 
and cheese. So this is what I'm going with. And even though I'm eating every day, so I'm not alternate day fasting like I used to, even though I'm eating every day, I still intermittent fast. Like, I just don't like eating like the whole day. So I pretty much OMAD, I do an adjusted OMAD. I'll have my snack in the morning and then maybe three to four hours later, I'll have my actual meal. So I have about a five hour eating window and that makes 18-6 fasting really easy for me. So as you can see here, I've been fasted for about 19 hours, oh, about 20 hours. Ooh, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this thing get all the way uh, until 20 hours before I eat. But yeah, it's super simple. It's super easy for me to have a four to six hour eating window, like especially when I get to eat every day. So <laughs> that's what I like to do. So I'm gonna start my day with my cheese snacks and then I'm gonna work, do some more exercise because I got to do an outside workout for 75 hard and then it'll be time for pot roast and I'm really excited about that. I've basically just been rambling so that I can make sure that this gets to 20 hours. Oh yeah, gotcha. Okay, so I've officially been fasted for 20 hours. I'm going to end my fast with my cheese snacks. Of course, always water, always water, right? Uh, and then work and exercise and food. Yes. Okay guys, so we just got back from our outside walls. Yes, we did. What did you think of the temperature? I really enjoyed it. It was not cold. It was like, cold. <laughs> it was not as cold as I well, thought. Yes, it wasn't yes. uncomfortably cold. Yes. yes. I, I mean it wasn't it wasn't warm by any sense of the of the word, but still it wasn't frigid and torture. Because yeah. I've been outside during some frigid torture and oh, that wasn't yes. it. Okay, but good. But I think that it's all about how you dress. So. It is also about how you dress. I was dressed I could have had like not this scarf on though. Mm -hmm. Like, but I do have on three layers under this. Yes. And I did take my gloves off during mm -hmm. it. Yeah, so I was warming up. I was getting the good. Yeah, I was you know, adjusting Body heat like, working up I, to it. I brought my mask with me and I've actually yeah. found out that it really helps. Keep you warm. Yeah. 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 I was like, ooh, it's yes. actually very beneficial. Yes, it does. I... And it keeps the wind off your face yeah, and then exactly. it keeps and your mouth warm. Nice warm. It's like a face glove. Exactly. That's a, that's, it's like a face sock. I, I was that's well prepared for it. Yes. Well, good job. Well, thank you so much for coming with me, oh, honey. I never know where I live. My face is cold. My face is cold. <laughs> you can't shimmy during the thumbnail. Yeah. Or else you get a shaky picture. I want to shimmy all day. Long. No. In your okay, you guys, this mm, is my pot roast meal prep. Like, this is one of my favorite types of meal prep where all you have to do is like put everything in the microwave. You don't really have to assemble anything. So, this right here is my sour cream and butter uh, cauliflower. Mm. I have a recipe video for that. You can see it right there. This is like my own homemade Mississippi pot roast. So basically I just took a chuck roast, put it in the crock pot like all day and night. I put my own seasonings in there. I put some keto chow beef soup base in there to kind of take the place of the packaged au jus. Cause you know like that stuff is just riddled with maltodextrin and whatnot. Don't forget, you can get 10% off your Keto Chow purchase by using the link in the description. They have both sweet and savory options, and that made a great use for it. And then I just put like garlic powder, onion powder, some dried herbs, a lot of salt. I put some pepperoncinis, pepper, like basically just spiced pot roast. And then right here, we got nothing, just, just nothing but steamed broccoli with a pat of butter on top. Oh my gosh, like. Oh, I'm so excited about this. The cauliflower. Can you see it's like creamy and, I mean, just delicious. Mm. Mm. I basically took it directly from frozen, put it in a skillet, then added all sorts of butter and sour cream. It still has a bite, which I really like. I'm sure you can do the very same thing with like a cauliflower mash, but I like the rice cauliflower better. Okay, then we have this like, delicious, juicy mm, pot roast. It's salty, it's spicy. Mmm, oh, it's perfect. Bringing up the rear, we got Old Faithful, which is just steamed broccoli. But you see that big piece of butter sitting on top of it right there? Yeah, that's what makes it. It's so hearty, like, and voluminous. Like, I love broccoli, man. So I'm gonna enjoy this entire mountain worth of food, right? And then I'll be back for dessert. Oh, also, hashtag always more water. So that's what I got in here, water. 
Okay guys, words cannot describe how deeply satisfying that entire meal was. Like it was just delicious. Like, oh, it was so good. But do you know what else is about to be so good? These two bars that I'm having for dessert. So this will wrap up my eating for today. These fit in my macros, if you can believe it or not, because I pretty much keep all my other meals pretty much low carb so that I can have these junk products as part of my day. But hey, they're working. This is a peanut butter brownie smash quest bar. But this, you guys, this is the new Keto Crisp almond butter and blackberry jelly bar. This is their new release. I'm gonna show it to you. It is so amazing. First of all, I'm convinced that the Keto Crisp bars keep getting smaller and smaller. I am not pleased with that, but I am very, very pleased with the taste of this. I mean, it tastes just like... Mmm. Almond butter. But that jelly, though, it's the, it's the tartness of the blackberry jelly. Mmm. That is so delicious. And yes, you guys, that is a real size bite that I take. I get like 18 bites out of this thing. I cannot let it get eaten too quickly. Like, I need to savor this. Mmm. I'm gonna have my bars. I'm gonna close my eating window. And I'm gonna drink my water. Oh, I forgot to mention. I forgot to mention that I have a husband. Yeah, he just happened to. These keto crisp bars. Oh, yeah, those are amazing. Those are amazing, yeah. I forgot to mention, I have a code. It's Autumn Keto. You can get 25% off these bars on the website. Hopefully that's still going on when you see this. But if not, I do have an evergreen code that I'll put right here where you can get a percentage off on their website. I love Keto Crisp. I love their texture. I love the flavor. These are Richard's favorite keto snacks, you know, and they're delicious. Okay, guys, I took a quick break from work and water drinking, and now I'm on Clubhouse. Comment down below, do you have Clubhouse? It's only available for iPhone users, uh, but right now I'm in a group called Keto for the Soul. I don't know if you can see it, but we're talking all about the keto diet, and look who's in here. Chef Michael. Where is Chef Michael? Oh, there he is. Chef Michael Keto is here. So many people are starting to get on Clubhouse, and I'm obsessed with it. If you're on Clubhouse, find me at Watch Autumn Keto, of course. Drop your Clubhouse name uh, in the bottom and I will follow you. But Clubhouse is basically just like a big fancy conference call where you can hop on these open discussions uh, with either A, regular people, or there are some larger personality people on here. And it's cool to just kind of jump in real time and hear what they have to say on certain topics. So right now we're talking about uh, Keto diet, the number one search diet in 2020. So yeah, it's a really cool thing if you have an iPhone. It's invite only, so find someone that you know that has Clubhouse and get invited and then join the keto conversation. Like, I love it. Okay guys, this is me pouring the last, woo, of my gallon of water. All right, so after this, I'm done, and I'm very much looking forward to it. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up for the day. I'm done working. I finished my gallon of water, had my meal prep. I didn't have anything else. After that, like, it was a really good feeling comfort food style meal prep, and I am really happy about it. Next week, back to taco tray. I'm excited about that as well, but overall, Today was a great day, 75 Heart is going great. I hope things are going well with you. Let me know how your new year's going in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye. Oh, wait. No? Yeah, so amazing. Thank you. I wonder what word you're gonna put there. That is my wife. I am your wife. And don't forget it. The conversation lasted two minutes, maybe three minutes. Everything you said a total agreement. It's the dream is a bit of a dance. A bit of a bastard is a bit of a dance. What are you talking about? Let's talk about Hamilton. Hey, look at that arm definition right there. Hey, girl. How you doing? Okay, thumbnail. Hold on, let me see what my hair is doing right there. It's beautiful. No, no, it's not beautiful. Ooh, now it's good with us. Mm.